It's really sketchy to walk here. It was crazy. It's pretty massive. <laughs> There's a lot of carnage going on. Yeah. Hey guys, here's Manny Leppenbichler. We're here in the middle of Austria at one of the biggest mines in the country. What? Ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Where normally the most craziest dirt bike race takes place. The town normally is super calm. Yeah, I would say it's pretty quiet, huh? But if the race is going on, it's a completely different story. It's like a festival. The atmosphere is insane. Welcome to Red Bull Erzberg Rodeo, the craziest insane dirt bike race in the world. It is this dirt that has served as a setting for countless moments of hard enduro history. And I'm gonna show you guys the most notorious features on the racetrack. Just check this place out. Just check it out, like, how big it is. It's unbelievable. This is me compared to a Howley. This is a Howley compared to the mountain. People are coming from everywhere and around the world. Pro guys, amateur guys, you know, everyone is standing next to each other. F runways or at a tennis game, you know, it's just the, the pros are playing and the other guys have to watch, but here everyone just come out, you know. Stand where we're at right now, where normally the start takes place, is the most, most craziest start of all our races in all our sport. 500 guys down here, 50 riders per row, so we got 10 rows. We have to wait them, I would say, around two hours, and the emotions are going high. Everyone is super nervous. Like, the bikes are shut it off, and kind of is, is such a quiet place normally until actually the racing is going on. Planes are coming in normally right before the race. 50 guys going into the first uphill, which is already going crazy. It's just such a small and crazy little uphill, which is already super rocky. I would say this part is maybe five minutes after the start. Should I say water pipe or water light? It definitely is already the first point where you, where you can see the difference between pros, amateurs, and hobby guys. I would say there are already a couple of amateur guys struggling. Yeah, guys are struggling. You know, at Earthquake Rodeo, we also got everything, you know? We got them long uphills, like Wasserleitung, for example, but we also have super muddy conditions in the forest, three ruts everywhere, big rocks. I think this kind of mix of, of terrain makes it also really difficult and really challenging for most of the guys. This mountain humbles you. The size of it, the scope, uh, the, the variance of terrain. You go from Sahara to deep forest in like literally 50 feet. This bit is, I would say, super special. It's called Ludwig's Land. The last couple of years, it was super difficult. So there have been ropes. It was still helping zone, like the guys have been pulling us and like, it was crazy. You can't believe how slippery, how slippery this dirt is. And then we have some ruts everywhere. We call them also black snakes because they're super slippery. There is really steep where already a couple of guys tried to go up here. I can definitely tell you guys, here is a lot of carnage going on. That's for sure. It's 
like full on track walk now. Track walk with my media group. <laughs> Really sketchy to walk here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. As he runs like this. Yeah, guys, definitely I can tell you, this place is crazy. I would say the most notorious place of the race. We kind of ride in here for like at least an hour. You have to lift your bike around. If you get stuck in one hole, you you have to get it out. It's like 110 kilos where you're literally just carrying around through some big rock. Carl's Dinner, the infamous Carl's Dinner. We have seen Erzberg rodeos won and lost in this space alone. Yeah, actually, my dad won it in 2015, where they all finished together. <laughs> the pressure is on. We got already a couple of second place trophies, couple of third place trophies in our house. So I'm trying to get another another number one um, trophy also into the Lettenbeck house that we we have we have two, you know, next to each other and hopefully I'm gonna get a bigger rock as his one. So we're just walking over to Green Hill. Um, it's been a while since I was here, you know. It looks definitely different than some years ago. The first time when they had it in, the goal was at the tunnel, and now the tunnel is gone. This is how I think it's really good to explain how much dirt there is still moving at the mountain. You're standing there, and you're like, ah, how should I get up there, you know? Like, you're literally working for every centimeter to go up this hill, and especially so long already into this race, makes it so hard and so difficult and so challenging. The mental fatigue, the physical fatigue, the heat at this point, just unrelenting. You can see how, how steep it is, like, from the top. Oh, hell. Just stand here in Green Hell, and if I'm just thinking I'm riding up there with a motorbike, I'm like, oh my God, this is not possible at all. But somehow we always uh, make it, and this is actually the place I would say where everyone kind of helps each other. Also from the pro guys, you know, like the first year when they put Green Hell in, it was a lot of carnage because no one could go up here. It's hard enduro, but that was definitely too hard because if four of the best guys helping each other try to get up one hill climb, it's just insane. <laughs> I had every tree here. <laughs> so if I'm to be honest, I'm already a little bit scared, you know? Like if this green hell is disappearing, we don't really know where we're gonna go next. So if I'm looking up there, whoo, hopefully not. <laughs> George Avenue is definitely one uphill where you need some speed for sure right from the beginning, you know, and you just hammer it down all the way to the top. Like, it's such a fast uphill and you just have to open the throttle, get third gear in and just pin it to the top. Check this out, how steep it is, how long it is. And I think this is what the race is about. Like downhills is always super easy because you can just throw the bike sometimes, but uphill, that's the hard thing, you know? So, um, yeah. At Erzberg especially, you know, we have some really steep uphills and yeah, I'm definitely gonna show you and hopefully I can make it up there to the top. Let's go riding. <laughs> okay, let's go riding, huh? I'm just gonna show you now really quick um, how to ride up George Avenue. I hope I can I can make it to the top at the first go. Woo! <laughs> 
So guys, that was George Avenue. It's actually pretty good, you know, like after all the shit, what you have to go through, especially all the technical stuff to come here and have such a funny, uh, funny uphill, I would say is also still steep, but it's quite funny. And yeah, it's really good. It's just a good feeling. And after this now, we are nearly at the finish. So it gives you kind of also a little bit of motivation to when you're here because you know, ah, you're nearly there and you're nearly made it to the finish. So let's go, huh? already back down you know where normally the finish is um, if you're here I think everyone is just super happy you know like I said it's 500 guys at the racetrack I think in the finish and actually it's maybe around 15 to 20 guys I would say the last couple of years it was always around two and a half hours for the first guys you're so exhausted and it's so brutal and so physical for your body I'm always super happy when I'm here, like, uh, especially if you're a good result, like you're over the moon. It's just the, the holy grail of hard enduro. Like I already cried one time <laughs> when I was at the finish. So um, yeah, this is, I would say, shows how much it means, means to us and also to, to myself. All right, guys, this is it from Red Bull Würzburg video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, for myself, it's definitely the most notorious track on the planet, especially for dirt bike race. So if you're gonna disagree, just let me know in the comments and yeah, just come here and try and race it.